beautiful Puerto Vallarta in front of Daiquiri Dix, where Vallarta is going Hollywood for the premiere screening of House Hunters International. is a wildly popular show on the HGTV network with a viewership of over 1.24 million viewers per episode. And they were recently here filming in Puerto Vallarta courtesy of Timothy Group Real Estate. And we're here to find out tonight what exactly brought them to Puerto Vallarta. If you were going to buy a house in Vallarta, what would you be looking for? A gorgeous villa. Up on the side with a view. I wouldn't expect anything less, and it's a pretty good view from where I'm standing, too. Thank you, Marilyn. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I think I found my dates for the night. Hi. With any red carpet event, the most important person to know is the girl at the door. <laughs> How's attendance been tonight? It's been awesome, especially for the value season. We've had we have like almost 300 people in attendance. That's amazing. And was that what you were hoping for tonight? Yes, we were hoping. Yes. Excellent. And is there any chance that I can get one of those awards to take home with me tonight? Um, yeah, there's a great possibility for you to. Fabulous. Do that. Nobody's nobody's gonna notice. Thanks no. very much. You're welcome. Bye. So rumor has it we have over 300 people here for the screening of House Hunters International. Is that a fact? It is a fact, yeah. And rumor also has it that tonight we're supporting some fabulous charities. It is true. Well, we're going to check your pocket before you go home, okay. just in case. We're here now with Carl Timothy from Timothy Real Estate Group, who was essential in getting House Hunters International to Vallarta to film the episode. Carl, can you tell us a little bit about how the process happened, that they actually came to Vallarta to do the episode? Sure. Uh, we were contacted through social media by House Hunters International uh, to see if we'd be interested in doing an episode here in Puerto Vallarta. And uh, so we sent off the audition tapes and, and they cast us. They thought the idea of Puerto Vallarta was great because they hadn't filmed here before. And uh, we finished uh, filming in January uh, of this year, and we're going to be filming another episode in November. So we're excited about that. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's great to hear. I know that the viewership of the show is huge. Well over a million people watch the show. What do you think that kind of exposure for Vallarta means to the city? We're hoping that that kind of exposure is going to be great uh, to give to give the world an opportunity to see Vallarta in a different light. Uh, we had the opportunity during the filming to take the film crew out to see whales. Uh, they did a tequila tasting and uh, up and down the Malecon through the old town. They really got a good picture of Vallarta. And I think it's uh, it, I think it's going to be a great representation of of what we are at least for the first episode. That's fantastic. And we know that tonight is not only about screening the event, but also to support some great local charities. Can you tell us a little bit about the three charities that are that are being supported here tonight? Sure. We've got some great charities here in Vallarta, but we picked three uh, important charities for this event. Becca's Vallarta is a wonderful scholarship fund for children. Becca's is about a 50-year-old uh, scholarship uh, program for kids. They've done thousands of scholarships for children. And this year, they are sponsoring 400 children in school that otherwise wouldn't be able to have the opportunity they have. That's uh, one of our charities. The other charity is the Asilo San Juan Diego, which is a senior assisted living uh, center that uh, Mrs. Covarrubias has created here in Puerto Vallarta to help the medical needs and food and living needs of some of the senior citizens here. And then the Navy League does an incredible job uh, for children here in Vallarta. They, they work with the U.S. Coast Guard and they are also the sponsors of Toys for Tots. And so we've chosen Toys for Tots also as one of our charities for tonight. Excellent charities all. Well, thank you very much for talking to us a little bit about the event. And I think while you're still in a charitable mood, why don't you go buy me a daiquiri? I'll do thank that. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're here.
here with the other half of the important team from Timothy Real Estate Group. We have Daniel Champion, who is the on-air talent for this episode of House Hunters International. This must have been a big challenge for you. I know that you're very successful in what you do, but I'm sure that you've never had to show properties well on camera before. What were some of the things that you did to prepare for this experience? Well, we had to screen out all the properties uh, far in advance to make sure that they're going to fit the, the criteria, the look and the style, uh, first and foremost, what the client wants, and make sure the properties look their best because, you know, you're going to be on an international hit TV show. So it took kind of months of preparations and just uh, getting everything organized. Now, between you and me, no one else is watching. Did the buyers buy the property that you thought was the best one? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> no, not really. We won't put you too much on the spot. Congratulations, we hear that the House Hunters International was so pleased with the episode that they're going to be coming back to film another episode and I assume you'll be a part of that as well? Uh, yep, part two coming soon. Excellent, congratulations, thank you so much. Go get a daiquiri and we'll see you inside. Great. Let's head in and see what else is going on tonight for House Hunters International. We're here with the two stars of the evening and of the episode, Zaffir and Derek, who have flown down especially back to Puerto Vallarta just for tonight to celebrate the premiere screening of the House Hunters International episode. So tell me a little bit about why you decided that you wanted to purchase property here in Puerto Vallarta. Why wouldn't you? I mean, it's just such an amazing place, you know. We fell in love with it, just seeing the beach, the people, everything here, the restaurants. I mean, we fell in love with it so quickly. And, uh, you know, I think we only, looked, we only looked at a couple houses and we made an offer almost same day. That's amazing. Well, the lifestyle is amazing here and it's one of the things that makes Puerto Vallarta such, a, such an important destination. Right. Tell me a little bit about how the process happened that you ended up hooking up with House Hunters International. Uh, we were uh, approached first by Daniel, our real estate agent at Timothy Real Estate. And uh, then we had to audition for the show uh, with some agents in New York and then uh, they liked what we did and then we had another audition and then they selected us. Amazing. Now between the two of us here, the three of us, how many arguments did you have about which was the perfect property? Don't, don't lie. Yeah. Not many. Now, do you have a calculator? <laughs> the numbers are that high. About the first now, property? It, it, was, it, was really, it really wasn't. Uh, our, our tastes are usually pretty similar and uh, we were a lot faster than I, I would assume the typical client. And you know, Puerto Vallarta is just so easy to fall in love with. And we looked at a couple properties, and I think once we found the one, we just knew it. You know. And, and when, when we found the perfect designer, this is Michael Hickman. Hi, Michael. Michael. How are you? Nice to meet you. I cannot believe what he did with our place. Honestly, I am completely blown away. I walk into our house every day, Michael. And I just can't believe this is our house. And I owe it all to your, your design. Of course, to Daniel and Timothy. Thank you. Wow, that's, a, that's amazing. So a few months have gone past now. You're here, you're a Vallarta residence. Any regrets? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is the most beautiful place to vacation. I think anybody that is not buying in Vallarta right now is really missing out on the most amazing opportunity of a lifetime. Totally agree. 100% agree. from Diamonds International, 063. Twice, three times. Oh, yes, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no.